The company that runs Shot Spotter technology that alerts Chicago police when shots are fired responds to Mayor Brandon Johnson's decision to end that contract. That contract expires tomorrow night, but the mayor wants to extend it for six months. The company saying tonight it's not on board. WGN's Dana Rebick has more on the latest developments. The contract, of course, we know when the, when the day that the contract ends that there's no secret there. But I've been clear from the very beginning that, that retiring and moving away from this particular form of technology while providing a runway is what I've said. That's the understanding that you all should work with, and, and, and I'll leave it at that. The time frame for that runway to get rid of ShotSpotter not lining up with a memorandum of understanding parent company Sound Thinking says it presented to the city back in December. A spokesperson says over the last couple of months, preliminary discussions were underway about a one year extension. The company saying tonight, quote, contrary to those discussions and without consultation with sound thinking, on February 12th, Mayor Johnson announced a decommission plan involving an extension of ShotSpotter through September 22nd, one month after the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. We believe the shared goal of an extension period must provide the best possible data and analysis to the residents of the city of Chicago through greater transparency and reporting standards. The way this is secured is through a minimum minimum 12 month extension and modifications to the city's current data and reporting protocols. The conversation about what to do with ShotSpotter and what to do next if we were not going to continue to use this technology should have, from my perspective, started three years ago. The Office of the Inspector General reviewed CPD data in 2021 and found only 9.1% of gunshot alerts resulted in evidence of a gun crime. Others feel the technology leads to over-policing of marginalized communities. It wasn't reducing violence. It doesn't reduce violence. Is there a conversation to be had about improving response times? Yes. While some believe it's a valuable tool for combating crime. But we all want safety for our communities, that's for sure. So why the hell are we getting rid of ShotSpotter? In the 7th, 8th, and 9th district in the last week, we had 187 shootings detected by ShotSpotter. I guarantee you we did not have that many calls to 911. And if ShotSpotter saved one victim, in any of those shootings, it is money well spent. Today, Mayor Johnson made no mention of this 12 month contract offer, nor if he would be agreeable to a longer extension period. We did reach out to his office tonight to see if he wanted to clarify or provide any new sort of comment on the matter, but we have not heard back. At City Hall, Dana Rebic, WGN News.